everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. I'm German, so Oktoberfest has always kind of been a thing. And today we are going to do some Oktoberfest themed coasters. What could be more Oktoberfest than a beer and a pretzel? I want to show you how I upload images into Design Space. First thing I do is I create a new project and then I go down here to upload and it will pull up a menu and here's the beer mug. I'm going to choose that one and then this is what comes up and a lot of you probably already know this but some of you that are newer like I am may not and what you can do when you have this image here you can clean it up. I want to go in as a simple but then you hit continue and it turns it into this. Now over here is this little wand and you can get rid of areas that you don't want and what I do because I'm going to want to cut the vinyl out of um, the gold color and then white. All these other areas will be white. I want to bring it in to the program twice and I may figure out a better way to do this in the future and if you guys know a better way by all means leave it in the comments below. But I will take it and just get rid of areas that I won't, don't want. Like for this case I want to isolate the yellow or the gold whatever you want to call it and I'm getting rid of the black and these other areas. So once you get those areas taken off, depending on your image, some images aren't as clean. So like this one, you still have some of the outlines and you want to clean that up a little bit more. So you can just take the eraser and size it to be whatever you want, but you can just start erasing it. So you want to be pretty detailed about it so that um, you get as clean an image as you can get. So I'm just going to jump forward, even though this is not quite finished. Um, and see, you can see these dark areas. You want to get rid of those. All you want is this area to remain. So once you get all that cleaned up and everything, you would just keep moving forward and then you would have a clean image to work with. And then I loaded it a second time and I did the very same thing, but I kept the white parts, which would be the base, the handle, and then the foam on top of the beer. So I loaded the image one more time and now I'm just going to get rid of the background. Um, all of this stuff is fine. Nothing else needs to get cut out. I just want one basic cutout of the whole thing. So I'm going to continue. And this is perfect. This is all I need. And then I'm saving it. And here it is. So now if I wanted to start a new project, I can upload my image, insert it into that project, change it to cut, and that's my template right there. And the really easy thing that you can do is, let's say I want it to be about four inches. Now I can go to my uploaded images and pick out the other parts that I need. So I need the foam for the beer here and the rest of the beer and insert both of those. All right, so what I'm going to do is pull these over because we know these are the same size and line them up pretty close and then highlight both and I just do that by holding down the shift key and then moving them both over here and I want to make both of them cut when I have both highlighted I can now size them and move them and now we have a rough idea of what it's going to look like and what we need to do is we're we're gonna cut out only this back one right now we could cut everything at one time if we wanted to uh, but right now I just want the template and I'm gonna cut this out just out of cardstock or paper whatever you want to cut it out of is fine all I'm doing is using it as a template to cut out the wood piece and I'm gonna do the very same thing with a pretzel So here are the templates that we're going to kind of trace onto the MDF. Um, they're both big enough to hold a beer mug. So that's what we're going to do right now is run out and cut these out. I 
everything to the Cricut to cut it out. We're going to be using some transfer tape to help make this happen. I think the first thing we're going to work on is the beer, so I'm going to pull the excess vinyl off. And we want to put the transfer tape over it. You guys have probably done this before. Then you want to pull the transfer tape back and make sure that you're getting all of the pieces. I need to place it on here. And then pull the transfer tape off. Now what I didn't tell you guys is that we glammed up the beer and I used a glitter gold because at Oktoberfest, what could be more magical than beer? Then we're going to do the same thing. So then you pull the glitter off, and then you place it on, line it up as best you can, burnish it down. Now you have a beer coaster. And now we're going to do the same with the pretzel. So now I've got the pretzel down there. Now I'm going to add the salt, burnish it all down, and then slowly peel it back. Just like that. Now we have our pretzel coaster. And this brown is kind of dark, so you might want to go with something lighter. Um, you can even do it with the gold and have a gold beer and a gold pretzel. Or you could take a little bit of paint and just do a little bit of highlight in there just to give it a little offset. So for a little highlight and contrast, because the brown happened to be really close to the black, um, I did a little bit of white paint just on the insides to kind of give it a little contrast. But there are different vinyls that are lighter that would work um, better for the pretzel, and I'll have those linked down in the description below. And then here's the beer, and happy Oktoberfest! I hope you guys like the Oktoberfest coasters. I don't think I've ever done an Oktoberfest project before. I can't remember doing one. So be sure to let me know what you think of them in the comments below. And I hope you like them, and let me know, have you ever been to an Oktoberfest? Do you like Oktoberfest? Do you like beer? Do you like pretzels? Thanks guys so much for being here. If you guys are doing any crafting, be sure to let me know. I would love to see what you're doing. And you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Be sure to tag me at Craft Clutch. And I will definitely see you next time, you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Remember, life is too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys. Bye.